find out. Yeah. Yeah, we got good movies now. <laughs> Was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> Can we just go back and watch Mad Max? <laughs> Please. Fucking hey. I'm so done. I'm so done. This is a new meme. Done with life, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> done with life, Michael. It needs an exaggeration. I would just suddenly... <laughs> there you go. Hey, you're welcome, Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Barista got my Starbucks order wrong. I'm so done. <laughs> anyway, anyways, <laughs> so he just got out of San Andreas. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> yes, the the big the big movie that so many so much of the Bay Area got to be extras in, and some of us CGI'd in. <laughs> oh yeah, because you were supposed to be in this, right? Yeah. You want to tell them a bit about that? Yeah, I was in. Um, <laughs> I was in one. I was in one shoot in Chinatown, and they showed Chinatown for maybe a total of what, like, twenty seconds. Give or take, something like that. <laughs> so, like, well, I, I couldn't see myself. Maybe there was like me for a, a frame or two, but that was about it. So, for those who want to play a fight of like, where's Waldo with San Andreas? There you go. You just got a new task for a new game to play. Yeah. When this movie comes out on Blu-ray. Uh, and if you're like the one person that's going to buy this, <laughs> but, I hope there's only one person. Uh, su suffice to say, I'm sure I'll have better resume builders. Yeah, in the I future. Hope, for your sake, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. There were, um, there were uh, uh, I, at least four times where I kind of looked at, at you like, in my peripheral <laughs> a little bit. And it was like the four times where I see your hand. <laughs> your hand <laughs> it's your like, hand. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this is fucking stupid. Like, I could tell from there, I was like, uh-oh, Michael is, <laughs> is irritated I, again. From, like, frame one of this movie, I got irritated, because... <laughs> Because it starts out where, like, this is teenage girl driving along a cliffside, and you think, uh, oh, she reaches in her bag, to refinds it, she's gonna crash somebody now, nope, car rides by. Yeah. And then she looks at her phone while, uh, like, she got a text message, she looks at her phone while another car is coming closer, still does a crash, like, okay, that doesn't do either. What does it? CGI rocks. <laughs> and Rock CGI slide. rocks, slam into her in the worst CGI car crash I've seen all year. Except how much movies I see that's saying something. Because it doesn't... It There's no real physics here. It's just plop, 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 plop. Yeah. Cliffside. It might as well be Pac-Man, <laughs> as convincing as it is. And goddamn, that car flipped over how many times? Uh, at least, and barely, like, barely a scratch on her. Yeah. <laughs> like, barely a scratch. Okay. It's like, I can't wait to see what CinemaSins does with this. Oh, yeah, they're going to tear this apart. Uh, like, I was doing it, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, hear a little counter on my head. Ding! Yeah. yeah. Or, like, that one part where they add um, the, the big, fault, they had the big the, fault the line. Giant like, fault the line. giant fault line. What is this? The San Andreas fault. Roll credits. Yeah, I heard that I heard that same <laughs> voice in my head. Like, fuck, I watch it too much. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Here's my main problem with this movie. Now... I kind of mentioned this when I, talk, when I talked about The Hobbit 3, which I went to by myself. Thanks, assholes. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm referring to everybody, not just you. Although, oh, you too, you're an asshole. But, uh, actually, Hobbit 3 wasn't terrible. It wasn't good. It wasn't terrible. But uh, anyway, is the fact that I'm not anti-CGI. I'm not. Like, I'm okay with CGI most of the time. Some CGI is done really goddamn well in There's some There's a couple C yeah, in some, in some movies, CGI is great, like in Chappie. The CGI is absolutely convincing in that movie. I haven't seen that, but I've seen a... F or Ex Machina is another great example, which is also, oddly enough, another Android movie, but also <laughs> fantastic CGI. It is totally used to serve the story, and it's done expertly well. This looks like a video game. Not even a good one. <laughs> I kept getting reminded of Spec Ops The Line, which granted is a great game, but that's all I could think of. I was like, you never play Spec Ops The Line? No. It's actually a really good game. You should check it out. Uh, much better than this movie. <laughs> uh, literally, there's like, I have a problem with CGI when there's so much of it, there's no reason this movie should be live action. There's no reason this movie should be live action. This might as well be a cartoon. Yeah, there were a lot of times where I could tell, oh, and there's the obvious CGI blur. It's everywhere, even when, like, the girl is driving in the car to begin with. You can tell they did that behind a blank green screen. <laughs> when they could just as easily, because you couldn't really see it as she was driving when the rocks were coming down. And I'm, I'm thinking they could have done that with a stunt driver and then 
roll a whole bunch of dirt down there as practical effects. They could have done practical effects for that, but they, they didn't. Yeah, like there's so much CGI and shit that does not need to be CGI'd. Like when they're in the Hoover Dam a couple scenes later, they CGI'd the goddamn water. You couldn't get real water? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's shit like that. I mean, granted, it's California, so maybe I couldn't. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. shit like that, I'm like, there's, it's so pointless. They're so needless. I can't get invested into anything because it's not just all CGI. It's bad CGI. It's, not a frame of the CGI is convincing. Not a frame of the CGI is like, oh, I believe that's there. It doesn't ring big budget CGI film. This looks like, okay, we clearly want to make a Roland Emmerich movie, but Roland Emmerich said no. So, <laughs> which, which should tell you something about this movie. <laughs> if Roland Emmerich, who made White House Down, said no, <laughs> I, I, I have no idea if that's true. I'm making this up. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> it probably like, really? is, because like the big tagline the director is making this is, we want to out Roland Emmerich, Roland Emmerich. Really? Yeah, I'm wow. not kidding. Uh, that one's true, I think, but... Even if you get past the, the complete implausibility of this concept, and I'm not a, what do they call them, seismologist or something? I think a seismologist. I'm not one of those earthquake people, but I've heard from enough reputable sources, no, this could never happen. Yes. Period. This could never happen. <laughs> this shit does not yeah, happen. Enough time, and yes, a lot of people, especially outside of California, who just haven't been living here, are so paranoid. About the big one. Ooh, the yeah, big one's the, coming. The big, the big one's big coming. Big San Andreas. We've earthquake. been saying that for like 10 years. It's never yeah. happened. <laughs> I'm skeptical at this point. I'm well, like, like, I don't think we've really had a big one since the 89 one, like before we were born. Yeah, I mean, like, I remember one vaguely big one when I was a kid, but even then, the best it did is move some, sh knock some shelves down. Yeah. But even then, it wasn't like, it wasn't like 9.0 or whatever, like, this earth-shattering earthquake happens, where apparently, and I'm not making this up, they say this in the movie, it's like, the earthquake in the West Coast is going to be so oh, big, yeah. you can feel it on the East Coast. <laughs> Just this hyperbole bullshit. <laughs> that is that, that, I, I, have, I have to wonder which New York Went, oh my god, and which New Yorkers went right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we we ain't gonna feel fucking on. Yeah, we ain't gonna feel nothing, buddy boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm funny? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, sorry, I just got like I got Gangster Squad in my head. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not Gangster Squad. Uh, oh, Gangster Squad too. Uh, Gangs in New York. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Okay. Uh, just Joe Pesci in general. Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah anything along with, like gangster New Yorky vibe to it. Yeah, that's, that's going through my mind right now. Better movies, basically. But yeah, the, the thing that I noticed um, so the most about this movie, aside from the obvious CGI, was it was cliche after cliche after cliche. It was like it followed the disaster movie formula to the letter, practically. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the disaster movie genre in general because. I don't find entertainment in watching millions of people die, unless there's monsters involved, in which case I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> monsters make everything okay. Of course! It's like, uh, oh, disaster movies, I don't like these buildings falling down. Around. Like, put Godzilla in there? Fuck yeah! Yeah, <laughs> oh, Godzilla's making the buildings fall down. Nah, I'm okay with this. Because, I don't know, Like I, I've never liked him either. I think even as a kid, I never liked him because I just thought they made me uncomfortable for some reason. I think now I just realize at a young age that they're all shit. Because I can't think of a disaster movie that was actually good. At least it's come yeah. out during my time. I mean, I've I've seen a, a few a number of disaster movies, um, so that's why I've seen enough to recognize the formula. Oh yeah, this movie so was, do I. Like we use all the formulas. <laughs> yeah, I think, the... I think I've seen enough that I just don't really get an interest in a lot of disaster movies. Yeah, it's because they're not interesting. I mean, they're yeah. really not. I mean, like I said, it's not. It's a hard genre to make good because it's not very interesting. Yeah. Just watching buildings blow up, I've seen that so many goddamn times, it has no effect on me. Yeah. And it's also the fact that it's so fake, I can't believe and get invested in whatever's going on. And, like, I've heard some people say, oh, just dumb popcorn fun. I don't get what's fun about this either. No, there wasn't I really, don't get it. No, there wasn't really fun about this either. Like, that's, that was my just like, oh, just blockbuster popcorn fun. What was fun about it? <laughs> like, I'm legitimately asking, because I want to know. See, Fast and Furious is fun popcorn movie. Because that, that's so dumb and implausible. And it's no, it's so dumb and implausible. This movie wanted to take it seriously. Yeah. 
but it so epically fails to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that even gives us any resemblance of credibility is The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> and he's legitimately good in this movie. He is actually pretty good in this movie. I yeah. was impressed by The Rock in this movie. He is... Like, he can he can act up a storm when he wants to. Like, uh, he was the easily the best part in... Uh, what was that Michael Bay movie he was in a couple... Like, last, Pain and Gain. Oh, When yeah. he put a legitimately great performance into that movie, he was, like, legitimately awesome as an actor. But I also have to say, just because The Rock can go from... Or sport fighting to acting doesn't mean everybody should. I'm oh looking, God, no. I'm looking uh, at you, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> which, which, which one has Ronda Rousey done? Oh, well, she the um, you know the. Ex- oh, that person. fucking bitch! Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I brought her up before. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep regaining her name. I keep regaining her name because you want to. Yeah, I keep repressing Expendables three as much as humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Rock is uh, the Rock is one of the very few people who can make that transition. Well, there's a guy who played Drax too. He did it pretty good. Drax in in what? In Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, Batista. Batista, yeah, yeah. He, he did a pretty damn good job. <laughs> granted, <laughs> granted, he actually like took time to prepare. As soon as he heard he got the role of Drax, he went straight to acting class. Oh, did he? Yeah, like he he cried when he got that role. It's like, okay, I gotta fucking prepare for this shit. So he, <laughs> he went to acting classes. He got prepared. <laughs> it's not perfect, but you can tell he was trying. Yeah. But I'm talking about better movies because I don't want to <laughs> talk about San Andreas. It's dumb fucking movie. I will say this. Whoever played the Rock's daughter in this movie? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, oh thank my you, god. Thank you, obligatory cleavage shots. <laughs> they had to, like, put, like, I, they're mostly, but they put springs in her bra, because there was not a step she was taking in this movie where her boobs did not bounce. <laughs> <laughs> my very first thought, as soon, uh, anytime her boobs started bouncing, I was like, DOA boob physics? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's sad for reality, but it's yeah. kinda, like, one's kind of going asymmetrical, the other. <laughs> It's kind of all over the place. They're, they make a point of getting like as much cleavage in every yeah. shot as they can possibly get. Watch as she flags this video because we're talking about her boobs jiggling. <laughs> if, if I could flag for that, I'd be surprised. Yeah. No, 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 no. We'll get in trouble if we make the Babadook noise again. No, <laughs> That's just going to no. happen. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's so dumb. <laughs> I mean, it just, it's just one of those dumb shock value movies that... Again, I don't see the appeal of. I've never understood the appeal of this genre. Like, I don't get it. What's what am I supposed to be entertained by? Buildings falling over? Yeah, I guess it's the whole like, well, it's scary when it happens in real life. Yes, it is scary when it happens in real life, but you put it in a film, it's just like mm-hmm. it's, it's not so much I mean, like you could do that and do it well. You can make it interesting, but you gotta make it believable. This is so laughably bad CGI. I was going, Oh my god, what if this ever happened in San Francisco? I was going, Hey, I drove on that bridge once. <laughs> <laughs> I drove on that bridge once. <laughs> As it gets torn to shreds. I'm in no way invested in what's happening. And the characters aren't interesting enough to make me care about what happens to them either. Yeah. That's more or less what happened. And not to mention, there's so many fucking issues and plot poles and all kinds of shit you can poke fun of this movie. <laughs> like, I may do a review in this movie next year. Like, that's, a, <laughs> that's how many jokes I was making while I was watching this movie. Wait until it comes out on DVD and then review it for your channel. I, I might. I did that with Winter's Tale. Because <laughs> I reviewed that last Christmas. Only oh, I think I, I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah. that's when I made West Dress Up of Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah, that my, movie my... is a gift all its own. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a there's a fine line. There's a fine line between bad movies and movies that are just bad. Bad movies that are so bad it's hysterical. This one like walks that very very thinly. But unfortunately, yeah. it kind of leans more towards bad bad. I was hoping like okay, maybe it's like Into the Storm. That's so ridiculous and stupid. I can laugh my ass off. Cause Into this, there's a part in this movie there where it got close. It almost completely jumped the shark. Not Into the Storm jumped the shark. Because that movie had a sem- uh, SUV that flew into the heavens because of a giant tornado <laughs> where he lingers for a few seconds, angel music sings, and then he crashes back down to Earth. <laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> um, where they, they see... Because naturally, I, I will admit, some plot holes I was pointing out, I answered myself later on. I was like, oh, okay, now that kind of makes sense. Like, for example, uh, the whole point of this movie is The Rock plays an M.E.T. Like, what, what do you call him? 
like Air Evac kind of guy. Th I think, yeah, I think it's Air Evac, something along those lines. Like Air yeah, Evac. He was, he was part of the the fire department's Air Evac. Yeah, so, team. So he's. But when the big ass earthquake comes, that's helpfully explained to us by Paul Giamatti, <laughs> who really doesn't do much beyond that. <laughs> I was trying to think of his name. I was like, I know your name. I know your name, Paul Giamatti. Paul right. Giamatti, man. Yeah, I, like, he was the rhino, dude. I know. I was like, how <laughs> I, 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 kept, I kept being frustrated every time I saw him. I was like, I know who you are because I've seen you in so many things, like shoot him up, and I can't remember your oh, name. Gosh, shoot him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paul Giamatti is like a legitimately great actor. He is. So like, I mean, he. Have you seen Sideways? That's a great fucking movie. I haven't seen that. You should I, I saw him in Sideways. Saving Private Ryan and mm -hmm. Shoot Him Up for sure. I probably, <laughs> I've probably, I've probably seen him in a couple other things. You probably have. What yeah. was, do you see Spider Man Two? Uh, the the most recent one. No. Oh, okay, then you would have seen him in that one too, because <laughs> he plays the rhino and he tells you to, because <laughs> he's hamming it up because he knows he's in a stupid movie. <laughs> Goes, I am the rhino. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> Almost exactly like that too. That's not even an exaggeration. Well, at least Paul Giamatti has fun with his parts. Yeah, like that's what he's saying. I remember he's listening to interviews when he's doing that part. It's like I had so much fun doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun, but anywho, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so Rock is playing this guy, and then when the big ass earthquake comes, you got a big CGI montage of everything falling to bits, and apparently the earthquake is like just out to kill people directly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where like girl walks in a room, open the door after that, the entire power of that building just gone. gone. Yeah. Random pieces of rock just flatten people. <laughs> Except our main heroes, of course. Yeah, exactly. Or the, the guy who's walking along the wall and then the wall disappears. Oh, and, <laughs> and the wall disappears. Through. Or like the part that was like bullshit. You know, <laughs> on top of everything else I was mentally going bullshit at was the part where his wife uh, Oh yeah, I actually heard you yell out bullshit. I was like, bull! One. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Because like, bam, 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 bam. Uh, The Rock's ex-wife, or soon-to-be ex-wife, because they're getting a divorce while this happens. Well, yeah. I, I guess the Rock's daughter is supposed to be a teenager. She does not look like a teenager. No, they, they said college student. Oh, did you say college student? Which yeah, they, yeah they, or they said that she was um off to college. So I guess they're they're going for eighteen. Eighteen. She looks like she's in her twenties. She did. She looked. Yeah. She looked more like twenty three. Dear God, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> now Megan Fox, Megan Fox. This is what she was doing in this fucking movie. If you couldn't tell, she was hot. <laughs> it, it's hard to believe she was in True Detective. <laughs> Do you ever watch that show? No. That's actually a pretty good show. I think it's been overhyped, but it's actually a good show. But she's in that. Okay. And she uh, and she humps Woody Harrelson. But oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's HBO too, so so yeah, you got everything. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm good. It's a little hot in here. There we go. Or at least I'm getting sweaty. I guess I'm just getting angry than I thought I was. Probably just for your anger <laughs> over the movie. Uh, oh, that actually helps with the lights too. Can't think of it. Hmm. Anywho, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so uh, she decides to go on top of the floor of this building she's in, which of course is a big skyscraper. Yeah. By the way, this movie should be called just Bad Ideas the Movie. <laughs> <laughs> so she runs up to the top of this building, and of course shit goes wrong, because her everything's still collapsing upon itself. So it, she, instead of dying instantly, which is what she should have done, <laughs> she like, she er, the floor she's on collapses, and she pancakes her way like down two yeah, floors, like the floors then that floor collapse, then that next two floors, the next two floors, etc. And she's perfectly fine. She can walk, she can talk, she has like a scratch like, in her the, nose. The, mo That's the it. most she has um, little blood in the ear and she's got the shell shock. Ooh, symptom. scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was where I was like, bullshit. No, she's dead. Sorry, <laughs> no. <laughs> that happened to me. Like, I was thinking that three times with the daughter, too. It was like, nope, she's dead. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. She's dead. It didn't take long for me for me to hear the Cinema Sins voice. You yeah. Know, like, someone should have died, and the he hearing that voice going, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, nope, nope, nope. I was doing that all time. I was like, nah, -uh. no. Uh, mm -mm. They're like, little nope, British you're kid's dead. dead. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're like, nope, you're dead. Nope, Me you're dead. <laughs> meanwhile, over uh, Ro the Rock's hot daughter, meanwhile, is out with these, uh, her, yeah. like, her mother's bro boyfriend played by Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Which made me chuckle. <laughs> so I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> Fantastic Four jokes. Uh, there's one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, maybe you should do a, a video or I know, like I was you can throw in all the Fantastic Four jokes. Because <laughs> he's a building designer, so I can think it's like, oh, wait, see his plans are the Baxter building. <laughs> or like he 
like what happens is he makes the dumbest decision you could possibly make wearing a parking garage when an earthquake's happening. Where yeah. they gonna jump into <laughs> Again, I was yelling, No, you'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> like not even a if. You'd be dead if you did this in real life. Where he says, uh he has this driver because he's a big fancy millionaire billionaire. So yeah, I kinda make if I guess the rock's mom is gonna go for anybody, go for the billionaire. Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, money grabber. <laughs> but uh I don't judge. I she, they don't tell me anything about her character. I'm just making shit up. It's like, if you don't tell me your character, I'm going to invent one for you. So, backstory? What's that? Backstory. So here's my backstory for Rock's, Rock's wife. She started out as a low-level prostitute, hooked up with a rock one night and knocked her up. So, that's why she looks so hot. She had really, really, like, really hot prostitute jeans. <laughs> And then, of course, that didn't go wrong, so she ended up cheating with the Mr. Fantastic, who lost his powers during the last movie. That's why he didn't get a last Fantastic Four movie. The, rocks, like, uh, the Rock fights the Thing at one point, beats him, but it's not enough to save her from Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, if anyone's going to beat the Thing, it's going to be the Rock. Yeah. That just makes sense. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> Samoan Thor, as they call him in Fast and Furious. <laughs> Was that? Samoan Thor. Samoan they, Thor. They call him in Fast and Furious. Hey, you know, he'd actually be good for Thor. <laughs> <laughs> kind of would be. <laughs> uh, and that, but that's, and then of course, I mean, leads into this movie. Okay. Mm. There's my convoluted, in, like, improv backstory. Not great, but I did my best. You know, given the fact I was making up as I went along. Yeah. But anywho, what was I talking about? I'm rambling way too much in this review. Um. <laughs> uh, it was basically disaster porn. This yeah, movie. It, this was entirely CGI disaster, disaster porn. porn. I'm 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 stretching for material here, guys. I'm mm -hmm. trying. <laughs> <laughs> this was disaster porn all the way. Oh. It's it's almost it's not there's almost not a point in us going over the whole story as you typically do because so much of it is predictable. Well, oh, I, I remember what I was going to talk about now. Uh, douchebag Mr. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Uh, because he's in the garage and the earthquakes start happening. They're in the car and he just goes drive as and then they start like. Almost like, yeah, the earthquake's chasing you. Yeah. Kind of bullshit. <laughs> so naturally, this goes poorly, and the car crashes because the rock just kills the driver out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the, um, the rock's hot daughter stuck in the car. Mr. Fantastic says, I'm going to go get help. Up to this point, we had no reason to believe this guy was a douchebag. Yeah. He actually seemed like a genuinely he, nice he, guy. Yeah, he seemed like a good guy up until he just, like, ditches her. For like, no reason. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah I'm granted that's an earthquake. There's a reason. But yeah, <laughs> just, but... <laughs> just suddenly goes, no, I'm a douche now, and just runs off and leaves her behind because yeah. he lost a shoe. Yeah, and then they then they have that um that other scene where it's like, in case you didn't think he was a douchebag now, he's going to he's gonna, some, he's gonna throw some poor bastard off of a wall and then save his own ass. Because a building collapses and the big dust storm coming towards him, and then so he quickly grabs him and chucks him in the way <laughs> yeah. and takes care of him for himself because apparently dust storms never look behind walls. Apparently. Again, this is kind of like the fire uh, in Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes in a straight line. Just go in a straight line. It's like, hide in the closet. The fire will never look for you in there. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was hearing the nostalgia critic. But what about Boomer? <laughs> we didn't get a Boomer in this movie, unfortunately. No, there's no it's Boomer. Entertaining. Oh, God. And so this shit like that. This is closest, closest thing to that was the little British kid. No, oh, he's a little British kid. He was funny at first because he had balls, but then he got really annoying towards the second half of the movie. Yeah. Where all I did, they were to sit there and whine and hold up. Like, what do they call that book they had in the, in the DuckTales that had all the answers to everything? Uh. <laughs> like the Adventurer's Guide or something like I, that. I guess. I only remember the, the DuckTales movie. I didn't see the, the series. I just remember the movie. They had like this, like, I, they had like an Adventurer's Guide, like some kind of Boy Scout guide that had like mm. convenient answers to all of their problems. <laughs> <laughs> The kid in this, like, this little British kid and the obvious teenage, the teenage, early 20s love interest for The Rock's hot daughter, which, you know, good for him. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah like, score. Yeah, it's like, that, that was a good day of acting right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, where's it going with this? Oh, yeah, so he has, like, his little San Francisco guy, conveniently, where he's yeah. able to tell what everything is and look up all the facts about it and just knows it's like, everything. It's, it's okay, I've got the Prima Strategy Guide. We can survive this. And then he has the one line where he goes, like, can your book help us? He holds the book up, the camera zooms in, and he goes, lady, my book has everything. <laughs> and, like, and another cliche. 
if this movie had more dumb lines, at least it could have been entertaining. Yeah. Like, that's what made White House Down entertaining, was the fact it was so stupid, but it had so many dumb little fun parts in it that I could at least laugh my ass off about it. See, that's good when at least the movie is bad enough to be entertaining. Yeah, this is not entertaining at all. There was that one kind of funny line that I groan, openly groaned at, and you kind of groaned too a little bit. Oh. Where The Rock has the, um... to fly into San Francisco to save his daughter. But like the plane, there's no place to land his plane he's in, so he has to parachute out. Yeah. And but he has his wife with him. Oh yeah. And they're jumping tandem, so they're jumping together into and, AT and T Park. AT and T Park, and then they land on second base, <laughs> and he's holding his wife as wife in his hand. He goes. It's been a long time since I've taken you to second, second base. base. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, uh, like you hear like half the audience go, ugh. <laughs> yeah, you did. You heard the audience too going, ugh. <laughs> like the kid, like the high schoolers behind us were doing the same thing. <laughs> And a little three-year-old who wouldn't shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, the three-year-old was annoying. Because, like, he was perfectly fine before the movie started, but as soon as the movie started, apparently, he just did not know when to stop making noises. Yeah. And, like, the parents, God bless them, were trying to keep him to shut the fuck up. Like, I think, like, the grand... I'm assuming he was the grandfather. Literally just held him there, <laughs> covered his mouth. <laughs> but the kid was going... <laughs> <laughs> like, he was saying, like, the Mexican happy birthday song or something. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. They spoke Spanish. And yeah, I, they did. They I've been to Spanish. enough birthday parties. I've heard the Mexican birthday song before <laughs> plenty of times. Oh, that's right, because you're like a, a birthday entertainer, right? Yep, see, yeah. like, uh, see, I got my little business card right here. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, see, check that out. Yeah, and I've got, you can't really see that, but it's, I it's a, the, uh, light, the lighting is not uh, right. It's a mystery now. Uh, <sighs> I don't want us to talk about this movie. It's just dumb. <laughs> 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 this was just so dumb. This is such a waste of my time. <laughs> yeah, b basically, you're going to see a lot coming ahead of time. I mean, it's, it's all predictable from beginning to end. You know how this is going to yeah. go. There's no suspense. There's no characters. I mean, the only redeemable quality of like, the movie is The Rock, who's given legitimately good performance. Yeah. With what he's given. And I'm hoping that because now this is like the first, as far as I know, like the first movie he's led in recent years that's actually done well, that he'll get more leading roles in the future because he does deserve it. I mean, like, the last one I could think of was, uh, what was that movie where he was in the jungle and then had Christopher Walken as the villain? Oh, that was, uh, uh I can't remember the, the name, but I, I, I know what you're talking about. I saw that. Which was actually not a bad movie. Yeah, it, w it wasn't bad. It was, it was entertaining. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. But yeah, I can't remember the name. I haven't watched it in years, but I remember it being entertaining. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this, the guy who made this movie is the same guy who made Journey to the Center of the Earth 2. There's why this movie sucks in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> CGI nonsense. This did not need to be live action. There's no reason this is a live action. Yeah, I'm sure they, they did that because, um, oh, they, they want you to take it seriously. But you can't take it seriously because CGI is so bad on top of that. It's bad CGI. It's so many cliches, which, as, <sighs> I, which, as I told you, I was expecting a whole bunch of cliches, mm -hmm. but I don't think I expected the CGI to be as bad as it was. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't expect the the plot to be so implausible. I expect it to be implausible just based on what I've heard about it. I mean, let me put it this way. There's so much CGI that I, in this movie, in everything CGI, I was legitimately taken aback when they used real water <laughs> <laughs> to fill up the building that uh, the Rock's daughter and his, her British sidekicks end up in. Oh, yeah. I was legitimately taken aback. I was like, holy shit, that's real water. <laughs> <laughs> You should not be that surprised. I know, I water. shouldn't be. I mean, I, I talked about this a couple weeks ago when we reviewed Mad Max. Have you seen Mad Max yet? No, I haven't seen the original yet, so I, I wanted to see the original before I saw the... Don't You don't need movies. to see the original. You can go see this one and be fine. But, <laughs> I mean, you should, because the original ones are good. But I watched Road Warrior before I saw Mad Max, but for the first time, that's pretty good. But, uh, anywho, like, that one has a lot of practical effects, effects that are there. And even they use CGI occasionally to, like, fill the scene up a little bit more. Yeah, I could tell but they kind of did that with the trailers. But it's done well enough that you can't really tell unless you're looking for it. At least I didn't notice. So, so maybe it looks better than it did in the trailers. I don't know. But either way, like, they pulled off convincingly enough. Like, oh, okay, I can totally believe that's there. This movie, like, you don't believe it for a fucking second. I mean, like I said, this is a paint-by-numbers disaster porn movie. Yeah. And I guess I'm just, I, I never liked the genre. It's never appealed to me. So maybe, and I guess it's just worse than I was expecting. Because <laughs> this has a solid 48% of Rotten Tomato. Oh, does it? Yeah, so I was expecting better than this. I don't know. 
I, I don't get why that's, that's appealing. That's just how it goes. I found I found with games and movies these days, even if it's not well received by the higher intellect among us, it still sells millions. Yeah, I mean, not all movies. Murphs do bomb. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about that. <laughs> hey, you didn't have to see it. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I did, motherfucker. I was there. <laughs> I toughed that shit out. <laughs> Although, can you still say it was worse than, um, what was it, movie 44 was? Movie 43. 43. I've, I've repressed a lot of my memory movie 43. <laughs> that was like one of the first movies we reviewed on the site, too. Way back when. God, I'm old. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. On that note, support our Patreon. Uh, <laughs> so I can finally, you know, make more money than this douchebag here. <laughs> you Mr. Fantastic Bastard. 3,000 subs. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just finally got 200. <laughs> Did you do a special video for your 200? Not yet. I have it scheduled. I gotta okay. do it. <laughs> because I kept thinking last I saw um, your subscribe count was like 199. I was like, what's he gonna do for 200? Oh, I got it planned out. Like, I already got the request in, so it's been chosen. I just gotta go do it now. Okay. <laughs> I've been stalling. Uh... Do you want to talk about trailers? Because I don't have anything else to say about the movie. Yeah, we should just talk about trailers because otherwise we're just going to end up either rambling or... Repeating ourselves. Or, or plugging our channels. Yeah. <laughs> Me plugging my channel. I want to heard a concept. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. All right. So you missed this trailer. We got the I got a trailer for the remake of Point Break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just dumbfounded I that there is a remake. I don't, I don't know why this exists. <laughs> the trailer is so laughable. Like, it is truly horrendous. Oh, man. Because, like, the, I never saw the original Point Break, but if it's anything like the trailer, it looks like they took one of those horrible extreme sports movies of the 90s and tried to make it gritty. They're trying to make this into goddamn Batman <laughs> or Mission Impossible. I'm not joking. Oh no. Because there's literally a point where like the guy who they call uh fuck it what's in the Utah or something like that, okay. who has this like sleeked back surfer hair, talks completely seriously in front of this group of like heavy CGI people. It's like, all right, there's these burglar like these. A crimes going on, a crime spree, and goes, if they're anything like this, I have reason to believe they are extreme sportsmen. <laughs> <laughs> I added the song last thing, but it might as well have been. <laughs> and so the world has to be saved in this absolutely meant to be taken seriously sport, extreme sports movie. <laughs> Oh God, Saved just... by teeny boppers in flight suits. I've got to see this trailer. Like wing suits. <laughs> this sounds hilarious. I guess it's like, we have to save the world using extreme sports. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Triple X did that, and it was awesome. But this doesn't mean like, this will work. Except Triple X wasn't meant to be taken this seriously. They're trying to make this like the Dark Knight and shit, and it's really <laughs> fucking distracting. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, what was the... What was the... Why? <laughs> I was disappointed you didn't see that trailer because, like, dude, you missed something special. <laughs> I am so down to watch Point Break oh, no. when that comes out. That's going to be the best comedy of the year. <laughs> I'm going to predict that right now because, like, there is no way in God's green earth you can make this epic and <laughs> taken seriously. That's like if you adapted the Mighty Ducks cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's gonna try to do it. Like, we're gonna, like we're gonna Christopher turtle. Nolan, not in the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> you remember that old cartoon? I saw bits and pieces. Of I, the I Ducks. still remember that. I remember the intro. That's it. <laughs> I just remember going, Jesus, what was the thought process here? Yeah. So much of that's like Point Break. It's like I don't know what the hell they were thinking. This looks really dumb. Oh, this no. is this looks magically dumb. <laughs> I, I can't wait. Like the more I talk about it, I'm visibly getting excited about it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be laughably bad. I, it's it's gonna be laughably bad. Just based on what I saw in the trailer, there is no God, way in God's green earth. I'm going to be able to watch this and not laugh at some point. Because <laughs> I'm going to go in there drunk and be like, oh, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> Chomp. Popcorn. <laughs> uh, then we got a trailer for The Gallows, uh, which you, you walked in on, so I spent half the trailer signaling you. Yeah. Okay. And it's like a found footage movie um, in a, a high school theater. 
I guess, made by the same people made Insidious. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I could just tell it was a horror movie. Yeah, so. it's like it's kind of, it's just another horror movie. But at the same time, when they start like break into the high school theater and start fucking with the props and stuff like that, and then all the lights go out, my first thought was, "You do not fuck with the stage crew. <laughs> 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 they will fuck you your will, shit up. Yeah, they will." <laughs> It's um, like, do not mess with them or their props. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is arranged, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I've done theater long enough to attest to that. Do, do <laughs> yeah. not fuck with the stage crew. I did stage crew for a while. So, like, I know them. I I don't know them intimately, but I know enough to go, you don't touch a motherfucking thing unless we tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was stage crew for one show. The, usually I'm an actor, and yeah. I just know to respect the stage crew, yeah. even though I give them shit. But that'd be great if the main villain was the stage manager. <laughs> <laughs> just like a man in a black shirt and a big beard with a little speaker on his ear. <laughs> going, you came to the wrong theater. You. <laughs> See, I wouldn't be scared by that. I'd just be like, that's normal. That would be awesome. I would pay good money to see that yeah. <laughs> stage manager the I would movie. send that to all of my <laughs> stage crew friends it's like hey there's a movie made a movie about you guys dude we should make that movie oh god <laughs> <laughs> we can make an Indiegogo campaign <laughs> <laughs> or Kickstarter dude yeah. I, I'm kind of serious we, uh -oh. should totally, we should work on this <laughs> um, release it Halloween of next year oh, um, anywho so if you want to see that, support our Patreon page. Link is in the description. What's uh, lucky in the Patreon page? I'm, dude, I need money. No, I, I know. Like I'm not seeing a fucking dime. <laughs> I, was, I was about to ask, what do you what do you make on average from? Because you're a partner, right? I'm a partner, but I I'm still I haven't gotten to sixty bucks. But what do you get like on average in a month? A dollar thirty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up about my most recent. Earnings okay. for May then. How much did you get? Sixty-two. More than I'm making. More than I'm making. So quit your bitching. At least you're getting some extra cash. You can buy a game with that. No, I'm not, I'm not bitching. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna make him feel bad and say that I made sixty-two <laughs> bucks in the month of May. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Where's your support, motherfucker? <laughs> You got 62 extra bucks. You can put 10 bucks in on the Patreon page. <laughs> I'll buy your tickets. Um, I'm going to put that money to Ar Arkham Knight. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, it's only 10 extra bucks. You can put, you can, you can split the difference. But, <laughs> anywho. Uh, so after that was... Um, we got The Last Witch Hunter. Oh, yeah. The new Vin, Vin Diesel movie. Yeah, which is it's not a fancy. I ever thought I'd see Vin Diesel in. <laughs> It, it looks it looks interesting. I might see it just because I'm such a Vin Diesel fan. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I consider myself a Vin Diesel fan. I mean, it's one of those actors kind of hard to take seriously. Post '90s, I would say. Like, uh, I remember there was one movie I saw him in, or at least a part a monologue he did in that movie, where he's legitimately like pretty good. And he's oddly enough always good more when he's not actually on the screen. <laughs> I'm thinking like Groot and uh, the Iron Giant. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, Iron Giant's a great fucking movie. Yeah, I, I saw that. It was a. I was surprised by how good that movie was. Yeah, it was like his voice acting is usually better than his actual acting, which I always thought was kind of funny. <laughs> but I mean, I like Fast and the Furious series, and I don't know. I feel like this could have been. I don't know if this needs to be Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, it looks interesting. I got this trailer when I saw Avengers. I was like, oh, this could be. This could be really dumb <laughs> 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 if they play it right. This could be entertaining. Then we, speaking of dumb, we got Maze Runner two after that. Oh yeah. Which I don't. I don't get that series. It looks like more of the whole Hunger Games, a whole bunch of teenagers let's all, let's are all good. Make, basically, let's all make Battle Royale clones. <sighs> Almost. Maze Runner, the first one, had one of those end of the movie plot twists that killed anything the movie had going for it, which wasn't much to begin with, because mm. it still baffles me to this day. I'm like, that makes no <laughs> Sense. <laughs> I'm watching this trailer. I'm thinking, compared to that twist in the second, in the first movie, like this makes no sense. <laughs> no interest in Maze Runner. And why the fuck is Littlefinger here? <laughs> uh, yeah. Then we got Southpaw, which I don't know. Yeah, it's it's another boxing movie. It, it it could be a good sports drama. Could be. I think I would. I was just so weirded out by seeing Fifty Cent in this. Oh yeah, I don't is know, Fifty for, Cent in this movie? Yeah, he was in the suit, and he was like, "I can get you the prize fight." Oh fuck, that was him. I, yeah. I thought that was Forrest Whitaker. 
No, Forrest Whitaker was the other guy. He was the boxing coach. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, yeah. See, I, I kind of was laughing at myself when I watched this trailer because when I was listening to off the cast members, it said, uh, starring uh, Academy nominated actor, uh, yeah. uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Academy nominated actor, Forrest Whitaker. And Rachel McAdams, <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't won shit, <laughs> nominated for nothing. <laughs> Where she's just kind of here, here, and you already know she dies. Yeah. And by the way, we have Fifty Cent in this movie. <laughs> he didn't did get a starring great. What the fuck? He's got, this just has an Oscar nom written all over it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, it made me laugh though. It's like you, you finally came to the same conclusion I've been saying for years about Jake Gyllenhaal because. He did like the oh, special then, AMC uh, and like, hey, welcome to AMC, watch this trailer. And you go, holy crap, it's Grant. Yeah. And I'm like, finally, <laughs> somebody else sees it. <laughs> yeah, and he, he, he was in the, like, he was in a black suit and his hair is a bit longer. I was like, he looks so much like Grant. <laughs> I, I've been saying that since day one. And Grant still doesn't believe me. <laughs> really? Yeah, like, dude, you look just like him. Grant, you look like Jake Gyllenhaal when he lets his hair grow. <laughs> yeah. Even before then, you like, I knew him back when he had short hair, so... <laughs> uh, and then we got... <laughs> speaking of unnecessary shit... Uh -oh. uh, the transporter refueled. Uh, I'm just, just... I'm not gonna watch it. I probably just will, because I have to. Because I'm, I'm, I'm such a big Jason Statham fan. Yeah. It Transporter is not Transporter without Statham. I'm sorry. Like, I guess he said no. I guess they offered it to him, but he said no because I guess they offered him, like, an insultingly low amount of money for it. So but I was like, why not, am I going to take know. what I, like, significantly less than I ordinarily would make to do, exhaust myself on stunt work, do all this painful shit <laughs> <laughs> for no good reason? Yeah, and even worse, it looks like the actor is trying to yeah, he play looks, another Jason Statham. He looks like he's doing a very bad Jason Statham impression. Yeah, like, like, it's like Jason Statham without all the charm of Jason Statham. Yeah, like, no, dude, you're not Jason Statham. I'll, I'll go watch Spy instead of that movie. <sighs> Jason Statham's the only reason I'm looking forward to Spy. Don't give me a star in that fucking movie. <laughs> I don't know, it's got, it's... I, I've ranted on, on uh, that Spy in a dozen other videos, so I'm not gonna get into it here. Just, okay. It has 98% of Rotten Tomato, but I'm I'm still probably gonna hate it. <laughs> I, this is gonna be one of those movies I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be in the extreme minority on, and think, this movie fucking sucks, I don't know the rest of you fucking talking about. No, I almost wanna um, make sure you get you see that with a, a large group of us, as you sometimes <laughs> do, to see how many of us just, like, just gonna be, gang up on you. It's just gonna be me going, fuck all of you! <laughs> Let's get Muha in here, that'll be enough. Yeah. He knows how to push my buttons. Oh no. Um, and I think I was it, so yeah, you got any final yeah. thoughts for San Andreas? Yeah, final thoughts. Um, I guess if you if you really want to see a disaster movie about our local area, I guess rent it, but fair, fair warning, you're, you're gonna see some bad CGI. It's gonna be bad cliches. I mean, maybe not bad cliches, just but, but a lot of cliches. Mm -hmm. It follows the cliche disaster movie formula very well. But The Rock does have a really good performance in that, which I was actually impressed by. Yeah. What he said, more or less. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I lied. We do actually make $10 a month now. Oh. Because we got a, we do have one patron in Patreon. Oh, nice. He, he, he was not kind of doing like $10. So, sweet. Now we have $10 a month. Sweet. So you can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> suck you and your subscribers. <laughs> no, I don't know, Michael. You want to declare war on 3,000 people? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to subscribe here, asshole. <laughs> Be enough of these videos. I'm not seeing any support on your end. <laughs> I, I mention you. I, I th in I, passing, <laughs> I, I threw in a little plug about you in my Batman Arkham City review. That was like a second, and no one's gonna care enough to Google that shit. <laughs> you could just say, "Hey, sponsor, like, come subscribe to my friends page over here, over yonder," because he's lonely. I am lonely. <laughs> Support my need for attention by subscribing to a channel. <laughs> I'm kind of being serious here, dude. One plug, all I'm asking. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, that rant aside, I think I've exhausted myself at this point. So we might still go see Poltergeist. I know Karina wants to see it. So we might still go check that out. But other than that, we already watched Aloha, so we don't have to go see that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not watching it again. Because that movie was just weird. Mm.
Uh, but is there anything you mean out this week? Um, I think I think the only movie I can think of. I think Spy comes out this week. I it think. comes out this week, but we probably won't see it until next week. So, yeah. I think we've actually met our quota for this week, which is like, sweet. It's about to happen eventually. We're actually not catching up for a change. <laughs> uh, again, unless we see Poltergeist, in which case, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got Spy and Entourage next week. Oh, and Insidious Chapter 3. Fuck. Still need to see those movies. <sighs> well, that's next week. I'll worry about it then. Yeah. So, thank you all for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed our little fun rants, and thank you, Joseph, for joining me for this one. Uh, hope we see you again soon. I'm sure you will at some point. At some point? Yeah. In the future? Yeah. What are, sure. what are you working on these days? Um, well, right now, I'm working on my review of the Lego Movie video game. Nice. Is that any good? It's it's pretty good. I mean, there are better Lego games out there, but it's good if you're a big fan of the movie. Huh. You looking forward to Lego Dimensions? I'm keeping an eye out on it. I don't know that I want to spend the extra money on that whole set. But yeah, I'm not it, a big fan of that shit either. Yeah, that's, I, that, I think that's the thing that's kind of turned me away from it. That's it's, a recent trend that's really bugged me. I don't, yeah. like, I don't want to spend extra money to buy little toys for video games. Video games so I don't have to play with toys. <laughs> yeah. I have one big toy. That's what, that's what it's there for. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's all we got. So thank you for watching. See you all next time. Bye.